Now we're going to take a moment to unbox the XW MPPT80 600 high voltage solar charge controller part number 865-1032. Here we have the XW MPPT80 high voltage charge controller. It will accept up to 600 volts DC on the PV input. It will charge a 24 volt or a 48 volt battery bank. Here in the bag that ships with the product we have the battery temperature sensor. We have a network terminator, and we have a one amp ground fault fuse. All right, now let's remove the cover of the MPPT-80 and let's see what's inside. We've got two Phillips head screws, and we've got a little lip that slides in the bottom here. We'll just pull it out straight forward. Alright, so here we can see the wiring compartment of the MPPT-80. Here we have a plastic barrier to separate the high voltage component from the lower voltage battery component. So here we have the battery terminals, uh, one positive and one negative. Uh, this particular terminal block will accept up to number 2 AWG or 35 square millimeters. And here we have the PV input. So we have the three of the negative PV inputs and three of the positive PV inputs. These will accommodate number 6 AWG up to number 6 AWG, uh, AWG to 13 and a half square millimeter wire size. And then up here at the top we have the ground fault fuse holders. So this particular model can be negative grounded on the array, it can be positive grounded on the array, or it can have a floating array. And here we see the shielded raceway for the communication cables. Here we have two ZAN bus ports. These RJ45 jacks are for the ZAN bus network. Every ZAN bus device will have two ZAN bus ports. Here we have the RJ12 connector for your battery temperature sensor. And then here is the auxiliary port. The auxiliary port is a dry relay contact with a common, a normally open, and a normally closed position. It can pass through up to 60 volts DC, up to 30 volts AC, and up to 8 amps.